everybody. The goal for this video is to learn how to organize your Google Drive, which is your online file cabinet. The first thing that we're going to have to go over is this new function. If we click on new, we can make a folder, we can upload a file from our downloads or anywhere on our computer, or upload a folder, or we can create many new different pieces here that are part of G Suite. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder. Now in your folder, here's where you will name it, and I will just call it test20. And you'll see here in mine, I have a bunch of different other folders, and I can put folders within folders. So I'm going to go up to just an example that I have here. This is my one of my school folders. Now in my CPTR folder, I, I'm going to have more folders. So as you can see, I have some ADST, assessment for Google Forms, and so on and so forth. Now if I go into my teaching resources, think of this as a filing cabinet, right? Here's my grade six, seven things. Now in here, I have my language arts, I have my math, I have my science, Shelley Moore things. So if I click on math, Here's now I've broken it down into extra practices. I've broke, I've got different Google Docs. So it's important that you are organizing in here. Now if I want to create a folder within a folder, it's as simple as coming down to my field trips folder, new folder, I'm gonna title it 2021, next year, create. There we go. Now you can see in my 1920 folder, this is where I've got Google Forms for permissions, uh, forms to go home, Google Docs, and I've got PDFs in here. That's simple as getting something new in here from my computer. I go File, File Upload, and I can grab anything here from my downloads. We'll bring in a, the school district logo. And there it's uploading, perfect, there it is. Another important function in here is shared with me. So anytime someone shares something with me, it's going to go into my shared with me folder. Now, how do I grab something from somebody and bring it to my Google Drive? Because that's really important. I'm gonna go scroll down and say, okay, this, this activity here, I really wanna actually the heart pictures, from Miss Cutler. I want them in my Google Drive. So what I'm going to do is right click, move to, and this is where you can select where you want your part moved to, which is really important. Say if I want this choice boards in my Google Drive, it's K to three, I want them in my K to three resources. I right click, you'll see this function here too. So. When I did the heart pictures, I've already added that to my drive. So now I can add this to my drive. Now I want it to go to a specific spot. I'm gonna come here and click organize. So I've added it to my drive. It automatically goes to your drive. It doesn't go to the specific folder that you want. You have to tell it to put it there. So I want it maybe in CP. in my day book, for example, and we'll just move it here just for an example. So as you can see, we got everything organized in my drive. You'll see the starred function down here as well. If there's a couple documents that I really find important, I can right click on a document and click add to starred. As you can see here, I've changed colors. So some of the things that I go to most are different colors. So I can right click on any folder, change the color. Maybe I'll make that one green. I hope this is helpful. Now what we're going to do is, um, the next part here is these two top ones here, share it with someone or shareable link. So if I wanna share this whole folder with someone, I'm gonna to go to one that's already shared staff shared, right click, 
get shareable link. Here's the important part. I want to go to share settings. Now here's where it gets really important. So I don't have to type everyone's name in here. I don't have to do that. But if you want to share this with somebody and you want them to edit it, they're allowed to edit it with the pencil. If you only want them to view it, you would click there. Now I've got here and I can copy this link. So say if I want to share this to the whole staff, I can copy this link and off it goes. Now, if you're emailing a Google Doc to parents that don't have something in our SD20 folder, then what you need to do is click on this down arrow, click more, and you'll notice here, anyone with the link can view only, organize, add, or edit. So those that is how you send a link to parents, a Google Doc, that they can only view and not edit to anyone, any email address. You'll see here, anyone who has the link can access, no sign-in required. I hope this was helpful and thank you very much.